Hello guys and welcome to our channel. This is Beaver Roll. In today's video, we will be talking about the BVE in World vs. World, like taking cams, towers, uh, cubes, and stuff like this. Especially, we will be talking about Sol. I got this question multiple times now. Uh, that's why I wanted to make a video about it, which is can I solo on my build um, a cube or a tower or something like this? Some of you might find this uh, question obvious to answer, but uh, here it is. First, every condition build I made can solo anything in World vs. World. Strictly power, not really. So my main build, uh, the last one I released uh, for Droid, you're gonna be seeing it with the short bow um, sword dagger. You're gonna be seeing solo in it, uh, and my main build solo in it. Uh, for keeps, towers, we're gonna start from a camp, uh, tier 3 camp, to tower and keeps. I couldn't uh, solo storm mist because it's always defended uh, the castle, the legendary. I did it before actually but I didn't get it recorded and in order to solo it now it is kind of impossible. There is always a zerg defending it. People just rush in and you never really have the chance. So the highest thing I was able to actually record was keeps, uh, hills and bay. Now, I'm going to explain some few tips about this build or um, what do I do so I can solo stuff which is starting that we use a tanky bit and a weak bit or a low armor bit. This one have really really high toughness so most of the time it will aggro the boss, the champion or legendary or whatever. And the other one like Iboga or um, any other bit that have low toughness will not aggro the boss will start attacking you. The benefit of such method is if if you are the one who been attacked, like in those boss towers when the boss have a rifle that actually hit a projectile that doesn't bears, if your bit is not targeted, you are, and the boss trying to attack you, but your bit stand between you both, the projectile hit the bit. But since the bit is not targeted, it scale down the damage that um, that thing was a batch like really really old years ago that made bits take less damage than um, normally like they don't just get cleaved out in bve and it went everywhere unless they're actually being targeted like um, or from a player players give full damage so the bit actually would take like 100 or 200 only from the hit. It wouldn't take anything. It will never kill him, no matter how strong the boss is. As long as the boss does not target the bit itself. The bit just uh, get damaged by the damage around it. So doing this method, uh, the bit in front of you and you're behind it, you will not be hit at all. The downside to it, if you're in short bow most of the time, that means you don't um, flank. So you hit the low damage, like for the auto attack here, you hit for less than 400 instead of 1k and a quarter. So you need to swipe bits whenever you can, like uh, use this one, for example, uh, in order to uh, aggro on it and you flank the boss like that and you start hitting it. This is one of the main tips and you can also try to not let them die. You can heal them like this and give your bit protection and the protection heal your bit. And with that water field and regeneration, you can heal it for significant amount. And skill 2 also will make a, a spinning light around the boss that will heal your bit since it is in melee. You can heal it with your heal skill. And you will find me also doing another trick which I dodge, which kind of seem random. But I try to use my endurance as much as I could to give my bit protection since protection heal both of us. So I start healing and my bits start healing. Gain 2 seconds of protection on dodge and it will heal both of us, me and the bit, which means filling 60 avatar in order to use 60 avatar to break defiance bar. So you'd find me usually clearing at least one of my endurance bar. I don't want it fall at all as much as I solo and maybe keeping the other unless I'm about to kill any other guard like those bronze around the champion. Because every time I kill one of them, I will get an endurance bar refill. So I would do both, for example, like that, and reposition with skill 3. And it will trigger this trait since I'm spamming dodges. So I must have dodge 1. So I will get vigor. And now 
Once a guard die, I would get an extra dodge, which means I can dodge again, I can give protection to me and my bet again before I swipe, so this one will survive. However, if you use the avatar, usually you would stealth. Since you would leave Sister Avatar and stealth, your bit sometime might not stealth or get out of stealth before you. Which means this weak bit can be targeted at this point and it will almost instantly die. So using bit is great, but we don't really need it. We have the highest survivable ability or capability in Guild Wars 2, which is fringe. We do not have to go melee. So we can keep running around the boss whatever is happening and just attacking attacking and it will eventually die without us actually dying or have to take any damage from it or most of the damage at least try to manage your bit wisely if your bit is aggroing like if you use rug gazelle something tanky that it's been damaging getting damaged and the boss trying to do an aoe that will kill it immediately so you get out of the aoe but your bit inside so use return to me this skill in order to bring him to you and once the field go away you can make him attack again by attack my target or you can simply switch bits after if you want or uh, already your skills on cooldown like the CC and you don't need it you can switch bit for camps and stuff like this try or even anywhere but camps especially try to always cleave uh, every guard so let's say those are guard you run among them on your workflow or something you stay behind uh, a pillar or something so they all have to run around it and come to you and you immediately start cleaving them you can start with a skill like this and immediately entangle to trigger your ancient seed uh, on everyone and entangle too or you can go with the avatar skill 3 and 5 to trigger an ancient seed on everyone with sharpened stones so you would cleave every guard as fast as possible so that's it for the um, explanation and I'm gonna be leaving you now with footage to solo uh, tier 3 camp then uh, funny solo for a tower and then uh, both keeps I had multiple footage for uh, clearing keeps so uh, I'm gonna only put two one for hills and one for bay uh, as an example but like I said in this build uh, or uh, in any of my condition build and on my main druid build I was able to solo even stone mist but sadly I can't show it to you and I can't do it again hopefully one day I will do it and you might see it on the channel don't forget to like subscribe if you're new here and I will be seeing you next time peace